Hello, everyone. How are you? I hope you're having an amazing day. Oh, today we are talking about uh, loneliness. I, um, as most of you know, I'm Angela Blaha, and this is Training Tuesday with the Mothers, and um, the Mothers are is my channel, the uh, galactic energy beings that I channel, that I've merged with, and now we've come together and we just um, bring some sort of wisdom to the world. So I'm just checking my other page here to make sure that we're going. Yes. Okay. So if you have questions, be sure to ask them in the um, question box and we will see what they got to say. <laughs> so today's topic is loneliness and I've been fighting them. Um, not really fighting them. I've been saying, isn't there something else that we can talk about? Are you sure? I'm pretty, I really don't. Ah, that's a, it's a tough subject. <laughs> kind of like abandonment, self-abandonment was last week. So we're going there, I guess, because they won't give me anything else to talk about. Um, uh, loneliness. Let's, let's feel into the essence of the word, right? Hi, Terry. Let's feel into the essence of what that really, what it really looks like. Um, this week, I experienced loneliness. Of course, I'm... I, how I work is they have me experience something and then we teach about it or we talk about it. Um, I feel like there's a lot of people in the world who are feeling lonely. Even though we mi live amongst billions of people, like there's just this sense of being alone. And where does that stem from? So in my experience this last week, um, what I what I found was that loneliness made me go even further inward, and I was very hesitant and I resisted, um, and I, 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 I did not want to go there, right? So it took me a couple days to stop fighting the resistance that I was literally experiencing within myself and you know because for me loneliness has a lot of crying it has a lot of doubt it has a lot of um, self-worth where I revisit all those moments where I doubted my own abilities where I doubted my ability to teach anyone where I doubted my ability to even be on this planet and so, so it took me a while. It took me a couple of days. I'm knocking on the door saying, let's go, let's go. But what I noticed while I was, while I went deeper into loneliness and, and I, you know, what I do is I ask a million questions. And so when I went in there, I, and I moved further inward, what I noticed about loneliness was that it taught me um, about really what my truth was and it kind of manifested into um, an experience that I had with someone over the weekend um, of where I was um, my perception was that I was blamed for something um, and then I kept so then I would go into this paradigm of am I to blame you know what am I to learn um, what's the experience about you know all of those kinds of soul piercing questions that I teach people to have um, so I did all those right I did every single one of those and what I did notice was the one thing that kept coming up that I wasn't asking was what's my truth what is really my truth and once I asked that, um, I felt a sense of sort of relief, 
But then I felt, well, if, if it's really my truth that I don't have, I don't have control over others' emotions, neither do you, right? We have only control over our own emotions. And my, my truth was that I didn't have control over that, right? I mean, even if we're in the deep trenches of humanity's experience of blame, shame, and guilt, my, um, my truth was that I didn't have control over what someone else was experiencing. And, um, so then, so then my mind pulled from past memory saying, well, that's not very spiritual. That's not very nice. That's, you know, is that really your truth? Are you, are you you're, you play responsibility someplace in here. And what I came to understand was, yes, my responsibility was that I chose something that my partner didn't, didn't think that I should choose. <laughs> and so then I was to blame for it, right? We, we all have these scenarios, whether it's a partner relationship or friends or business partners, right? Whatever it is. We all have these scenarios and then we move into either the ego takes over and says, yeah, that's right. That's exactly how it should be. Or your soul consciousness comes in and says, don't worry about it, right? You're not in that level of that same level of consciousness. And that is really what my truth was, was that I wasn't playing in the same level of consciousness of blame, shame, and guilt. I was in a whole different level of conscious awareness that said, okay, I'm sorry for choosing this. I'm sorry for choosing this, but I'm not responsible for your emotions about what I chose. Literally, because I'm about, when I'm talking to my higher levels of consciousness, I say, show me. Show me what this is about. Show me what this looks like. Show me my level of consciousness and this other level of consciousness, which I know is not my truth, but it's someone's truth. And I honor that and I respect that. Um, but I don't have to feel alone in my decision. And I don't have to feel alone in my my beliefs. My, which isn't a belief. No, it's an experience. So, so loneliness <laughs> for me, literally what it does, what it, what they showed me that it does is it pulls you into a totally different level of truth consciousness where you ask yourself, what is my truth? So loneliness is not this thing to be feared. It's not a an emotion to be, or a state of being. It's really a state of being more than it is an emotion, I feel. Um, it, it, but look at it as, and ask it, what does it need? What does loneliness need? Like if I'm feeling alone or lonely, what does it need? Does it need companionship? Does it need more depth, in-depth um, experience? Does it need more in-depth explanation? Does it need, does it, is it there just to pull you into higher levels of consciousness, which is what it did for me? So I found it super interesting how that all sort of played out, right? Because I, I really did not expect that. Um, and I really didn't want to talk about it today. I don't know why, but I didn't really want to talk about it. Um, probably because it's very personable. It's very personal. And it's very, um, 
you know, loneliness is one of those things that we experience, but we don't really want to share it with someone. We don't want to share the experience of the lonely experience with anyone else because it's in society, feeling that energy of loneliness is not acceptable. At least not where I live. It's not acceptable to be to feel lonely. Um, so, so it was, it, it's been an interesting weekend and it's been, um, very expansive because today is a whole different day. Once I allowed myself to go into more inward and figure out that it's just a truth seeker, because really that's what I felt was that it was a truth seeker. Like what really is my truth about loneliness? Um, it's been a super expansive day today. So on the other side of our emotions, on the other side of our experiences, like there's something totally different. Um, so, you know, our perceptions of what we think is going to happen, n for me, never ends up to be truth. <laughs> never ends up to be truth. Um, so let's see. Do we have questions? If you have questions, please put them in the question box and I will get to them as soon as I can. There is a little bit of a delay in between what you type and Terry, I feel like your energy is, so Terry says that she keeps losing the video and uh, Terry, your energy feels like it's very massive today. So pull your energy in and it should help with um, streaming energies. That happens a lot. I have lots of people who talk to, who ask me those kinds of questions. Like, what can I do? Just pull your energy in. So what can we do about loneliness? Well, the one thing that, um, that I found super, super helpful over the week weekend was to ask what is really my truth when you're feeling and getting a working definition of loneliness. Like, what does it really f mean? And does it pull you, is the energy of loneliness, is it just there to pull you in deeper so that you get a better sense of what your truth is? Or is it something totally different for you? Um, so I'm going to check my page over here. Again, if you have questions, please ask them. And we can always continue to as, carry on this conversation later on. Um, and if you like what you hear and feel like other people, you know, can use this information, please share this document. Please share this video with others. You can also join it, um, join me on my YouTube page, which YouTube channel, which is uh, all of my videos get uploaded to there. And I share these uh, frequently. So, okay. If we don't have any questions, then I will sign out. And I hope that you um, gained some information from this video. And until next week, I do these every week on Tuesdays. And until then, have an amazing day. All right. Thank you so much for joining. Take care.